Hello and welcome to Poland, my name is Paweł and let's start another episode of 3P and today we'll talk about Polish names. For most of the time children in Poland were given names of saints. As Poland is a very religious country, most of parents were baptizing their children. And even the communist period, members of party baptized their children. So, name in Poland is very important and meaningful, and you also got your saint patron. There are many names which are easy to translate, like for example mine. Paweł in English is Paul. Marek is Mark. Some sounds not too similar, like for example Jerzy is English George, but sometimes they are almost the same, like Adam. But there are also some names which are typically Polish, for example Stanisław. Stanisław was a bishop of Kraków in 1000s, and in 1079, after an argue with the king, he was killed. Some would say he was murdered, some would say that he was executed by the king. But then the legend says that his body was hacked into pieces, then they threw it into a pool, but miraculously it reintegrated and he became a saint patron of Poland. Today, I would say that in almost every Polish family you can find someone with that name. In the United States, where there is a big Polish community, you can find a lot of churches which are dedicated to Saint Stanisław. Saint Wojciech, the first Polish saint. And his name is not translating into English. In some older documents, like for example baptismal records, you can find it as Adalbertus. Have you ever heard it? Of course not. Uh, no one is using that name. Uh, and uh, when Wojciech was emigrating from Poland, sometimes his name was changed into Albert, sometimes into a George. And there are many names which are like tongue twisters. For example, Grzegorz, Krzysztof, Przemysław, Katarzyna, or you can try Zdzisław. So now it's your turn. And here we're in the medieval Dominicans monastery. They are in Kraków thanks to Saint Jacek. Jacek is another Polish name which is not translating well into English. Jacent. I don't think it sounds well. But Jacek is also the only Polish saint whose statue you can find in St. Peter's Square in Vatican. But when he came to Kraków in 1200s, when he started organizing the monastery, he first built the refectory, what is a dining room. Then there was a church. So we can say what was the most important, food, food or the prayer. They started from food, and even nowadays it's used by around 100 monks who are still living here. But Saint Jacek is also a saint patron of pierogi. Pierogi, probably the most famous Polish dish. And we have saint patrons for almost everything in Poland. But about that we'll talk in another episode. Everyone called my grandmother Maria. But especially in 18 and 1900s, priests didn't want to give that name dedicated to God's mother as a two saint name to girls. So they were baptized as Marianna. And it can be a bit confusing when in different documents your name is mixed. Like my grandmother, she had documents with Maria and some with Marianna. Adam Mickiewicz and about a kid we would say little Adash. And we are by the statue of that great poet. And you can remember it from the last uh, episode uh, when we've met on the main square in Kraków. Uh, Adam Mickiewicz, by the way, never been to Kraków. Uh, but he created a name Grażyna. And Grażyna was a very, very common name in generation of my parents. Uh, but uh, priests, when they were asked to baptize a girl with that name, they said, not really, because there is no saint like that. So they gave the name Maria. And little Grażyna was finding her real name, Maria, in her ID when she got first real documents. But what would be life without parting? And 
if you want to remember birthdays of all your friends, it can be quite hard. But in Poland, especially here on the south, it's much easier uh, when you are bringing presents, gifts, flowers to your friends for their name day. Name day is the day uh, when we are celebrating a saint patron. And a lot of people in Poland can remember uh, some dates of the most famous saints. Like for example, Barbara, December 4th. Saint Nicholas, December 6th. Uh, December 24th, it's Adam and Eve. And then ladies selling flowers here on the main square are bringing them to the statue of Adam Mickiewicz. And the last thing what I want to tell you about Polish names is that if you take our ID, you will find a family name and two given names. Most of us officially are using two names. And if you know translation of your name into Polish, please leave it in a comment. And the Polish word for today is imię. Imię. It's name in Polish. Thank you for watching, please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications and see you in the next episode. Bye!